Hello and a very warm welcome to Kenley in South East England. This site sits at the extreme southern edge of the London borough of Croydon, and in my previous video we looked at the history of the Croydon Astronomical Society. This time we've been granted very special access to visit their observatory, which sits just across the road from the famous RAF Kenley. So please join me now as we take a very special tour of this fascinating place. As we enter the site, we come up to the main observatory building. And if we follow this round to the left, we see that there's a second smaller dome as well. And we'll be looking at that too later on in the video. Just next to the observatory itself, which we'll go and see in a moment, is this hut and we'll go inside and meet Tony Roberts. Hello Tony. Good morning. Hello there and you're the chairman of I the am. Croydon Astronomical Society and um, the observatory itself is the Norman Fisher Observatory is that right? It is. Yeah can you just tell us briefly about him? Uh, Norman Fisher is one of our old time um, chairman sadly no longer with us. Mm -hmm. He was the guiding light in getting this observatory built. Right. If it wasn't for his efforts we probably still would be arguing about what type of observatory we'd be having. Right. But he also had the expertise to do a lot of the brickwork, uh, a lot of the woodwork, the dome, which is fiberglass. He knew how to actually create the moulds and then fiberglass and then make, put the bits of the fiberglass together. Fantastic. Lovely. And I remember you, you were telling me, as I look around here, that um, the members actually built the observatory themselves back in about 1970, I think we saw in the... Previous video? We broke ground in 1965. Right. We finally opened in June 1979. It took a long time. Right. And okay. The clubhouse you're currently looking at yep. uh, dates from 1990, so it's a later edition. Right. Okie dokie. And we're going to have a look at the observatory itself then. That'd be lovely. As Tony explained, the observatory is named after Norman Fisher, a former chairman and one of the guiding lights of the Croydon Astronomical Society. He's commemorated with this plaque on the side of the building. OK, so Tony's just opening the observatory for us, and he's also going to turn the dome. There it goes. Isn't that fantastic? There we go. Okay, so with the dome now turned, let's go inside. And this is the inside of the dome. And on the wall here is a picture of Norman Fisher, who we were talking about earlier. And then this is the interior of the dome with the telescope. There we go. And if I come round this side, Tony's going to just briefly tell us a bit about the telescope. This is a, a six and a half inch telescope, Tony? It's a six and a half inch apochromatic refractor. Right. Um, that means it's got a very accurate uh, lens system right at the very top of the, uh, the telescope. Mm -hmm. um, it actually belongs to one of our members. We're very lucky that he's lent it to us. It gives absolutely magnificent views of um, the brighter objects, the moon, the planets, etc. Very, right. very good for that. Um, I say all on loan to us there. Uh, before this, the original telescope was an 18 inch telescope, which was actually part made by the members. Mm -hmm. That was um, moved on in 2006. That's replaced by a 14 inch, uh, a Mead Schmidt Cassegrain. And we had that until 2022, and then we were given the opportunity to get hold of this, and we, we grabbed the opportunity because this gives uh, nice, clear, crisp images, which are perfect for the public outreach that we do from this observatory. Excellent. That's great. Thank you. It really is a phenomenal achievement by the members of the Croydon Astronomical Society that this entire observatory was built by their own hands. Inside the dome, we can see those black fibreglass panels that Tony was telling us about earlier. All of them were made thanks to the expertise of Norman Fisher. The location of the observatory 
is also really beautiful, as you can see here. The Society has captured some truly stunning images over the years, and they very kindly offered to share some of those with us. All of the photographs that you're about to see were taken by members of the Society, using various equipment at various locations, including some right here at Kenley. This amazing image shows the International Space Station passing between the Earth and the Moon. The whole event lasts only one third of a second, so this photograph was achieved by shooting a video and then stacking together the individual frames. A similar technique was used here to capture this image of the Perseid meteor shower of 2016. It's even possible to capture whole galaxies on film, as these two beautiful examples show. This one is the Andromeda Galaxy, which, despite being the nearest large galaxy in our local group, is still an astonishing 2.5 million light years away. This extraordinary image shows the Running Man Nebula. It's actually a glowing cloud of gas that's partially obscured by dust that happens to have formed the rough shape of a running man, hence its name. This is the Perseus Double Cluster, two clusters of stars that are each around 7,000 light-years from Earth. This is the Orion Nebula, a glowing cloud of gas that's 24 light-years across and 1,400 light-years away. The variety of shapes, sizes and colours of these nebulae is extraordinary. This is the Horsehead Nebula, a cloud of dust in the shape of a horse's head that obscures the light from a bright nebula behind it. Just next to the main observatory, there's a smaller dome which we saw on the way in. And uh, inside, uh, Tony, there's a four inch telescope? Yes, there's a four inch apochromatic refractor. Right. Which is used solely for photography. So it's got a camera system fitted to it, which is connected to a computer, which is just on the right of your view. Right. That's really impressive, and it's quite spacious actually on the inside compared to what it looks like on the outside, isn't it? It's a little bit like a TARDIS, yeah. yes. It's a bit bigger on the inside than you'd expect. Yeah. And what was the story behind uh, this telescope being here and this second smaller dome? Well, the telescope is one that was actually donated to us. It's not the one which originally came with this. Right. And the dome is named after Alan Treehays. Mm -hmm. Alan Treehays was a young member of the society back in the early 90s and sadly died at the age of 18 from cancer. And he had this observatory and a different telescope in his back garden. And it was donated by his parents to the society to use up here. So we've still got the dome from Alan Tree Hayes, mm -hmm. but that isn't the same telescope that we're running in there. Yeah, so it's but a sad story, but a, a, a not fitting memorial. Very fitting. Yeah, thank you. The plaque that you can see halfway down and just to the left of the opening commemorates Alan Tree Hayes who, as Tony said, sadly died of cancer at the age of just 18. It records the inauguration of this observatory and its original telescope on the 30th of June 1991. That's 12 years to the day after the official opening of the main observatory. It's been a real pleasure to make these two videos about the Croydon Astronomical Society, to learn about its history and to visit their fascinating observatory. The work that goes on here is limitless and the enthusiasm is obvious. Long may it continue. OK, so that concludes our tour of the Kenley Observatory. Uh, many thanks to Tony for showing us around. And uh, Tony, if people want to know more, what do they do? Well, you can find our website, which is croydonastro.org.uk, or we've also got a Facebook page, Croydon Astronomical Society. If you want to come up and visit us one Saturday, we're open every clear Saturday, Details are on the website and on the Facebook page and we announce it at lunchtime on the Saturday if we were open or close. If we're open we give the times between opening and shutting on that particular night. We also run talks and they're at Trinity School in Croydon 
details of those are also on the website if you wanted to. This is all free. We don't charge for you to come to meetings, we don't charge for you to come to the observatory, and you don't need to book for either. Just turn up. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed, Tony. And you'll find a link to the website uh, in the description for this video. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Please remember to hit the like button, also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and bye for now.